Here with the Comprima V150XC or any Comprima we have to adjust the drawbar and we have at the front side here a set of teeth where we can rotate the eye and at the top side we have another set of teeth where we can rotate the complete drawbar. So we set the drawbar to the tractor hitch and then here via the jack we can wind the baler up or down until we get the desired measurement on the rotor shaft to the floor. So we have the correct crop flow for the machine. Okay, so here on the Comprima Plus model, yeah, we want to adjust the drawbar height, but first of all, we must check here between the center point of this shaft for, for the rotor and the floor, we should have between 700 to 750 millimeters. So then for machines that are doing only straw and bigger swaths, this dimension can be increased to 800 millimeter. So once you get the drawbar at the correct uh, angle, then make sure the teeth are fully meshed. And then we have three bolts on each side, M16s, and they're tightened to 210 Newton meters. So then to connect up here, the Comprima variable baler, this is a V150XC. We have here some connections. And number one here is the electric connector. It's the Comfort Cable 1, and it connects directly into the isobus of the tractor. Or if you, uh, the tractor has no isobus, Corona have a, an isobus retrofit cable for the tractor. Yeah, so then the red connector, one plus, is to open and close the tailgate. So you plug it in the spool, and then when you open the tailgate, we charge the, the baler for the bale density also. So when you open the tailgate, you keep it pressurized for a wee bit, and this then pressurizes the chamber. And then whilst you're baling, you just float the spool and drive the Next is the yellow connector, three plus, and here it's for to lift and lower the pickup and also to lift and lower the knife bank. The, so you select it on the terminal whether you want pickup or knife bank. So the pickup, you lift the pickup and then float when you're baling so it can follow the ground. And then when you select on the terminal the knife bank, it's single acting with springs inside the rams. So you can pressurize the knife bank up and yeah, lower it. It's T for tank, and it's important here that this goes into a free flow return because as the bale grows, yeah, the hydraulic rams get moved and it's important that the oil can get freely back to tank to keep the, the correct bale density.